Hello, my Capricorns. It's Guiding Halo here, and this is going to be your love reading for the 7th of July to the 13th. If you guys have liked, shared, and subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. I appreciate it. For those who have not, I would love for you to do so. Um, come and join our tribe we got going on here. Also, if it resonates, please leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. All right, see what we got going on in love for my Capricorn friends. Capricorn friends, you showed up a lot in the Taurus reading. Let's see what we got going on. Capricorns, the Empress, hmm, not surprising. All right, Capricorns, what are you dealing with in love for the week? So this reading could resonate for two weeks before, two weeks after, something you've already been through, something you're going to go through. Take it as it resonates. It may resonate next month, if not this month. All right? Because timing's fluid. And there's definitely been an ending here. A tower moment. It's been an absolute struggle for somebody. Someone thought it was a very firm foundation. But I see lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Now, this could be moving in a new direction with the person you're with or moving in a new direction without that person you're with, okay? Keep in mind that love soulmates can be family, friends, you know, that doesn't just mean it's the person that you are in love with, all right? So what do we have going on for my Capricorn friends? Well, very happy outcome nonetheless. I like to pull the cards just so you're all aware. Well, we get the Ten of Cups coming out. And balance is needed in this situation. Balance between emotions. Uh, balance between your head and your gut. I think someone wants to move forward too fast. They have that primal urge to move forward really fast. Their head might be trying to stop them, but you're not considering how your heart feels or how your heart might get broken in the in the fray. And that's why we have the infinity symbol here. It goes right over top that person's center chakra there. Tell me more about the Empress scenario, please, and this Ten of Cups. We have working together, learning, growing, being a team player with somebody. Because there's two people learning from somebody here. It's not learning all by yourself. And maybe it's your goal to have somebody that you can work with, do business with, do everything with. Maybe that's what you would like in love, and maybe that's what you have. Maybe that's what's coming your way. I'm not sure. Use your intuition. So this is the Keeper of Secrets. I think in your time of learning and time of growing, it seems to me that you've come across, possibly, with some information that is really going to help you in love. And if you've not come across it yet, you're going to. And it's going to be very good for you to have this information. Either that and or you have a secret that you're holding close to your vest and you don't want to bring out just yet because you're really, really happy and you don't want to rock the boat or rock status quo. But I've got an empress who's very, very happy here. And I see you using your intuition, asking the divine for help, learning and growing, using your intuition to move away from rough waters to calm waters. Taking a little person along with you. And a man. And a boat. A family, perhaps. Maybe you'd like to see your family, your man and your children and whatever else. Oh, there it is. Move away from rough waters to calm waters. 
after it's been an absolute bloody battle to get there, it looks like. And we have a very happy outcome come moving forward. I think someone battled moving away. Maybe you have to move and you're taking your husband and your child with you. And it's a battle to sell the house that you live in. It's a battle. The whole thing has been a battle. Maybe it's about going back to school. Uh, learning and growing, but using your intuition and not knowing how it's all going to fit. How is it all going to work? Because you need a job, you need to make money, you need to go to school, you have all this stuff you have to learn. Well, there's going to be passionate messages coming, that's for sure. And I think you're going to have renewed hope and renewed faith. What I'm picking up from this because you're going to review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So I think something's going to come inward that is really going to surprise you guys, <clears throat> my Capricorn friends. Perhaps someone is going to make a decision. They've been juggling so much stuff and they're going to make a decision that's really going to make you happy. There's going to be passionate messages back and forth. Or this could be an argument even about trying to find balance between what should we renew, what shouldn't we renew. Which way should we go, which way shouldn't we go. And I think it's, if it is an argument, if someone's trying to, like this bloody battle here for this empress, it's been a bloody battle. Someone here, I think, is trying to make it so that everybody can come together and have a have this emotional fulfillment. Oh, yeah. And financial abundance while they're at it. Maybe this is about joining homes together. If you live apart from each other, perhaps it's about joining together and saving money. And maybe that's what these passionate messages are about. Being able to save money, live together, grow together, a very happy outcome. And someone is definitely going to take a leap of faith forward and do that. These passionate messages that are coming in there that you're going to have in exchange with somebody, you're going to change your life. And I think it's something that you waited a long time and very much fought to do, but you want to move away from the rough waters to calm waters, and maybe it's the best way to do it thus far. Challenging information coming your way. Yeah, I'd say so. Time to move in a new direction. What is this challenging information about? Knight of Swords. This is information coming at you that you're not aware of. It's something that's... that's you don't see coming, but it's going to help you put down the burdens. I just saw that card flip. Or perhaps it's the ending of something. This information is going to end something for somebody. And you won't feel so conflicted anymore, perhaps. Well, it's going to make you very happy, whatever this challenging information is. So it might look challenging and it might feel challenging, but it is going to be a wish granted and it's going to have a very happy outcome. Whether you actually see that that's what the divine is trying to bring you or not is another story. Because we a lot of times view a blessing as very different than what the divine views as a blessing. And we don't actually ever see hindsight until we move forward from that, right? In hindsight, we can say, yeah, well, okay, in hindsight now I can see how it all worked out, which is probably how you guys will feel at the end of September, my Capricorn friends. But this is going to be an adjustment that's going to bring a lot of beauty your way. And it could have something to do with a queen of pentacles who is helping facilitate this for you. This is an earth sign. This could be your energy as well. My Capricorn friends, you know, this could be you that's facilitated all of this for your life. Got tired of the juggling and decided to say, you know what, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Best advice from the angels. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Let's get some clarification on that.
So if you desire this coming together of homes, if you desire this coming together with your family, you desire to move, you desire to go back to school, you desire to sell your house, you, anything, anything you desire that has to do with love here right now and money, because there's absolute abundance coming. You're going to save a lot of money by joining homes. A happy outcome, the nine of cups, heck, the ten of cups. Dang, this is such a beautiful reading. My Capricorn man, man, master manifestors. So we have the king of wands. Someone very creative can be a little sly. You know, can be a little ego-centered, egocentric at times, hardworking. But this person knows, they know who they are and they know what they want. And they aren't going to, they aren't going to settle for less. I think that might be your guys' energy coming across here. Of course you're not. You want your soulmate. You want to be together. And that's that, huh? Capricorn friends, not going to settle for anything less, Right certainly not going to settle and you're going to fight for what you want yeah you are it's been a bloody battle to get here communication is happening now and you're going to be moving forward at a very fast pace once that does happen and then my friends i'm going to leave it at this because what a beautiful reading and we get the six of wands which is absolute victory for you beautiful reading Congratulations, my Capricorn friends, for all those who are going to be moving in, for all those going back to school and are battling it. I see a beautiful thing. Getting a new job, battling it. Beautiful new thing. Moving house, beautiful new outcome. It's going to be great. You guys are going to have to let me know how it resonates. Blessings, and I'll talk to you later.